Hello and welcome to HEAL Module 4. I'm Dr. Tunu johnson Shockerton, and these slides were kindly written by Dr. Sharon Akinola. We are going to be talking about cancer risk in black people. In this module, we're going to be examining disparities in cancer care for black individuals. We're going to be highlighting high-risk cancers. We focus on breast, prostate and colon risk factors. Early detection matters. Early detection through screening is crucial in fighting cancer, and we're going to be empowering our communities in cancer prevention. So let's go straight in. We are going to be talking about the disparities in cancer incidence and diagnosis amongst Black individuals. So Black people have the highest mortality rate from cancer when considering all cancer types. So white people have the higher cases of new cancer, but black people are more likely to die from it. And in fact, the overall five year survival rate for cancer is lower amongst black individuals. Now, black individuals are more frequently diagnosed with late stage breast cancer, colorectal cancer, which presents challenges in treatment. Now, obesity rates are higher amongst black adults, which which contributes to risk. And there's higher smoking rates amongst black men, and that contributes to deaths from lung cancer. Now, EV vaccination is crucial in the prevention of cervical cancer. And because there's a low uptake in, in the black community, we see higher death rates from cervical cancer. And then also the kind of supportive care that's needed to survive cancer is limited for black people to access, and that's something that needs to be addressed. In addition, black women are 40% more likely to die from breast cancer and have a higher death rate despite lower numbers of new cases. So let's look at this in more detail. Around 82% of black women will survive after five years of a breast cancer diagnosis. This is compared to 92% of white women. And as we said, there's a 40% higher risk of dying and that doubles to if the woman is over 50 with the highest death rate in that group. 41% are more likely to develop cervical cancer and 75% more likely to die from it than white women. And in Africa, Cervical cancer accounts for 22% of female cancers, and this affects 34 in 100,000 African women, causing 23 in 100,000 deaths yearly. Now, cervical cancer is something that is very preventable by the cervical cancer vaccine, but also something that with screening can be early identified and stopped from happening. And this is really important and we'll talk about that in more detail later on. Now, breast cancer, common symptoms include breast lumps, changes in breast shape, dimpling, discharge from the nipple and breast pain. Although breast pain alone is not necessarily a sign of breast cancer, but if there's a new or unilateral breast pain, that's breast pain in one side or a change in breast pain, always get it checked out. But in fact, any changes in the breast, anything you're not clear on, make sure you get it checked. And that's because black women are at higher risk of aggressive breast cancers like the triple negative breast cancer and even though risk increases with age for all women including black women black women are more likely to get young onset disease also a family history of breast cancer will increase risk and their inherited mutations that are also found in the black community like BRCA1 and BRCA2 that can also increase risk uh, smoking, increased alcohol, inactivity and obesity also all increase the risk of getting breast cancer. Now, prostate cancer symptoms include difficulty urinating and waking up at night to pass urine more frequently, blood in the urine or semen, although again, these symptoms can be also symptoms of urine infection or 
So, but it's important to get it checked if it's something new, erectile dysfunction, pain in the lower back, hips or pelvis. Again, so many of these symptoms are not specific, but what we're saying is if you have any of these symptoms, get checked, ask the question. Now, risk increases with age again, but and for most men after 50s where the risk is higher, but black men are more likely to have young onset disease from the age of 40. Also, having a close relative with prostate cancer increases risk and there are also genetic mutations that can increase risk that run in families and black men have a higher chance of having more aggressive disease and so that's really really important to uh, why early diagnosis is really really important now looking at colon on cancer so symptoms include changes in bowel habit blood in the stool abdominal pain unexplained tiredness and unexplained weight loss now these symptoms again are really important that if you have any of them you get checked out risk again increases significantly over the age of 50 and the family history of colon cancer is a risk factor and there are also mutations that run in families that increase the risk of colon cancer a higher consumption of processed meats and low fiber intake and raise risk in addition to lack of physical activity and smoking, which can also con contribute to risk. Cervical cancer, warning signs include abnormal vaginal bleeding, so that's bleeding in between periods or with intercourse, a pelvic pain, pain during intercourse, and a change in vaginal discharge. So if you have any of these symptoms, you need to get it checked out. Again, these symptoms can be associated with a lot of different gynecological issues, but it's important to get checked out. Now, risk increases drastically after the age of 30, but that doesn't mean that if you're under 30 and you have these symptoms, you shouldn't get checked. Now, HPV infection is a primary risk factor, and that's why vaccinations have been transformative. Because if young people, young ladies and young men, so whilst in, in school as, as teenagers get the vaccination, then we know that we're dramatically reducing the risk. And it's really important for that uptake to increase in the black community because we need to protect our young people from cervical cancer. Answer. Now, also, one of the things that I really really want to get the message across is to go for cervical screening. Infrequent cervical screening elevates the risk, and we know that the uptake in the black community for cervical screening is low and this should not be because cervical screening causes early detection of problems and can save lives so women go for your cervical screening yes it can be a bit uncomfortable but that little discomfort for a few seconds can save lives and generally normal recall is every three years it's not something that you have to do every day please go for your cervical screening smoking tobacco is also linked to a higher risk of cervical cancer and conditions or medications that weaken the in immune system can also increase risk now i cannot overemphasize emphasize the importance of early detection and that's why screening matters now breast cancer please women check your breasts every month october is breast cancer awareness month please learn how to check your breasts check them every month you can do it in the shower get to know what's normal for yourself so you can pick up things if there's anything abnormal for men from the age of 40, black men should really be thinking, am I having problems with my urination? Is there a problem with my flow? Am I waking up at night to pass urine? If the answer to any of these questions is yes, you need to see your doctor. There's not a national screening program for prostate cancer here in the UK. But I think it's important if you have a family history or you have any symptoms to go and see your doctor, get a prostate exam and get a prostate cancer test. Now, neither of these things are perfect screening tools, but they give an indication and can be a very important tool for early detection of prostate cancer. In the same vein, 
colon cancer, if you have any of those symptoms, so a change in your bowel movements, blood in the stool, abdominal pain, please go and see a doctor. But also from the age of 60 to 74, there's a national colon cancer screening. Please do the test. It's only poo in a pot. Don't say it's disgusting. It saves lives. Do your colon cancer screening. Please, the uptake in the black community needs to be improved. And then finally, cervical screening. I've already talked about this. Really, really, really important. Women, please go for your screening. Let's educate our community about these things. Let's talk. These things are important. It pains me to see black people dying unnecessarily for things that could have been detected early or prevented. Also, people seeing a diverse workforce. So doctors that look like you, nurses that look like you. It's really, really, really important because it helps fight against misinformation. There's a lot of misinformation about the causes of cancer and lots of things in the black community. And we need to be dispelling those myths and telling the truth. Screening saves lives. Early detection saves lives. And that's why we need to be transparent and inclusive. Of course, we understand that there's a lot of distrust of the Western medical system. And that's because of bad things that have happened in the past. But we need to be trusted by our own communities. And that's why we've created courses like this to engage our community and say, we are members of the community and we're telling you it's really, really important for early detection is a game changer in cancer care. So in conclusion, for cancer perfect prevention, screening is really important, but also finding support network to get accurate information and learning from each other, proper information that will help with cancer prevention, but also advocating for ourselves if you know that your risk is high, you can go to your doctor and say, do you know what? I'm a black man. I'm 40. I'm worried about my risk. Can I get a prostate check? It's things like that I want to see happening. I have a family history. I want to make sure that I'm OK. Please feel encouraged and empowered to do that because early intervention and early detection is transformative. And also when there's an early diagnosis of cancer, please engage with treatment. Don't run away because there's some people in the black community are so scared of cancer diagnosis that we run away because early intervention matters. Also, we're working together as communities with community leaders, religious leaders, making sure that we are all working together to reduce cancer risk in the black community and that ties into education and cultural sensitivity i understand that these issues are not things that some of us like to talk about and i can understand that they are sensitive issues some of these things people have had terrible experiences in the past but you know what as long as we're approaching things in a culturally competent way and being aware about the sensitivities, we need to talk about it. But also, if you have a family history or you know that there's a genetic mutation in your family, please go and get genetic counselling. Go to your doctor and discuss this. And above all, it's really important to have a healthy lifestyle. So avoid smoking, alcohol in moderation, a healthy weight, physical activity, all of these things work together, eating the right food, all of these things work together to reduce cancer risk. Thank you so much for listening. I'm Dr. Tune johnson Shogerton. If you've liked this video, please share and subscribe. Let's get this information out there to the people that need it. Thank you so much.